Welcome to another Liquid Web training video. In this video, we'll be covering how to make your site go live after you've migrated or built a new site. Going live with your site is the last step in the process for building and migrating your WordPress sites into Liquid Web's managed WordPress portal. The steps in this tutorial are the same, with the exception of working with your domain name registrar. Each domain name registrar is a bit different, but the actual work of adding the DNS records are the same. So let's get started. To get your site ready to change the URL and to go live with your site, we need to be logged in to our managed WordPress portal. Next, we need to click on the Manage Site button for the site we wish to go live with. Since we're working with WP Odd Jobs, we'll click the Manage Site button for this site. Awesome! We're now ready to head over to our domain registrar. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using name.com as our domain registrar. The process is similar with other domain name registrars, so you can check out our instructions for others here at liquidweb.com forward slash support forward slash tutorials. Now, I've already logged into name.com, so let's get started with adding our DNS records. We need to first get to our domain, so let me find wpoddjobs.com. Now that I've found it, we'll go ahead and click the DNS records on the left side menu. I don't have any DNS records set up for the domain yet, so we'll add our first one now. I want both www wpoddjobs.com and wpoddjobs.com to go to the same site, so I'm going to need to add two records here. We'll be creating a record so that our domain will go to our WordPress site, and now we're ready for our next step. Let's jump back over to our managed WordPress portal to get the IP address we need to point our domain to. Alright, next to the IP address, you'll see a copy link. We can use this link to copy the IP address to our clipboard. Let's click the copy link now. Perfect. We've successfully copied the IP address. Now let's go back over to our domain registrar tab. All right, we're ready to begin filling out this form. We need to first make sure we have the type of DNS record set to A. We'll leave the host field blank for now, and the answer field will be our IP address. To add our IP address, we'll click in the answer field and press Command-V for a Mac or Control-V on Windows to paste our IP address into the field. Our last step is to click the Add Record button. Perfect. Now let's do it again, but this time a little different. If you remember, I mentioned earlier that I wanted both www.wpoddjobs.com and wpoddjobs.com to point to the same site. To accomplish this, we're going to add another DNS record. We'll keep everything the same, but this time in the host field, we'll add www. To save, we'll click the Add Record button again, and we're done editing our DNS records. Now, we need to complete the process, so we're going to jump back over to our managed WordPress portal and make a change there. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, let's move down to the primary domain field. Since we've already added our DNS records, we just need to tell Managed WordPress that we want the domain to resolve at this site. Go ahead and click in the primary domain field and change it from whatever is in here to the domain you're using to go live with. For our purpose, we'll put in wpoddjobs.com. Now, we just have to click the update button and watch the magic happen. It may take a few moments for the page to finish, but what's happening right now is that we're rewriting the server config to tell the web server to return this WordPress site when wpoddjobs.com is typed into a browser. We're also creating an SSL certificate so that your site is secure and protected. When this process is finished, we can check out our site. All right, it looks like everything is completed. Let's go ahead and check out our new site. We'll click on the domain here and launch the site in a new tab. And there you have it. Our site now loads at the domain. We're live. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other training videos for additional help.